All right, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be going through all my fishing stuff, ice fishing, tackle, rods and reels, you name it. What I got, we're going through it today. All right, so first up, oh, this is all my ice fishing gear. So I have I have two orange and two black tip-ups, but my other tip-up, I actually kind of lost it. Don't know how. So then I got my scooper. And if you come here and look at, of course it's gonna do this. So I actually have a, I'm not sure what it is. So I don't even know what it is, but it's nice. It looks cool. It's got nice stiffness. Got a little jigging on there. So yeah, this is my jigging rod number one. This here is the, my first ever fishing, ice fishing rod. And it's very old, not, not really very good either, but it sometimes works. And then this is actually a friend of mine's rod that he gave to me because he doesn't use anymore. I don't know why this is on there. But this is not another piece of crap rod. And the only rod I really use at ice fishing is either this or, yeah, pretty much that. Oh, and actually, one thing good about this, it comes with a bottle opener. You gotta have that. So yeah, this is pretty much all my ice fishing stuff. Well, next we'll go through my summertime tackle. All right, guys, this is my mainly summertime stuff. Some of these lures I might pull out ice fishing, maybe. There's a couple in here I might use. So first off, we got this old tackle box. Very old. It's so, like, it has an old, I don't even know what you want to call it, fish measure. Ruler, I don't even know. Don't stupid. like that. <clears throat> and I just keep a bunch of random lures. So I got some old, uh, I don't even know what they're called. Grubs. Yeah, Something like that. Grubs, spinner tails. I just got a random cut up bait. Got a couple, some ice fishing lures here. Some of that. All just random old stuff I don't really use anymore. And then coming to this one. Yeah. I got some bass stuff. I got chatterbait i got some of these got a net rig bat or a frog he caught you know that six pounder that was like <clears throat> like in july sometime that he caught that big one yep. that's what he caught that's that on i caught that on and i got old spinner bait i've had for a long time and then coming to this one this this tackle box is actually brand new haven't even well i've used it just today but so most of this stuff in here is I just got earlier this year. So I got I got four new spoons, two of these, and then I got one one of my ones on my other pole. And we were fishing today, and I actually lost one sitting on the ice right now. <laughs> Pretty disappointed. And then these jig heads are ridiculously big. Don't know why they're so big. You guys probably can't tell the camera, but they're freaking huge. They're they're big. Like here is on my hand. It's, they're big. You guys can't tell, but. And then I got big. a three and a half inch uh, bass jerkbait. A little whopper popper. That is not a whopper popper. This is whopper popper. I don't even I don't know. And then I got some a popper, probably. Football, football jig heads. Those are big jigs, too. Like, those are, like, actually huge. Uh, one's an eighth ounce, and one's a fourth ounce. There, This one's. Hey, that's an eighth. That's it, the eighth. Yeah. Wait. This, yeah, is yeah. A, this is the fourth ounce. Yeah. Yeah. So I got that. Then I got buzz bait with old, I gave that to old him. crankbait traded. And those newer, are good ones. Those newer are newer crankbait. Square uh, square bill. I've had this square bill for a long time. Never caught anything. It on looks it. new because you know he doesn't really throw it. Yeah. <laughs> then I got my whopper plopper. Got this from my uncle a couple a couple years ago for Christmas. And I got a bunch of hooks and stuff. Then I got random sankos and craws. Whatever you find. And then coming over to here is my soft plastic. So now here is just, I have one white uh, Sanko in there. Then I have some lizards and some yellow spinner tails. This is just random. I don't even use this stuff anymore. I just kind of keep it there in case I need need it. And I got some, I don't know, what did they say there? I don't know, it's paddle tails. All right, these are new this year. I haven't even opened the packages yet. Paddle tails. I got a singular Sanko from that left over from <laughs> you, last year. Dude, that, that was a good fun year, though. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. You know, got, you know, remember that I uh, sang? Uh, it was, oh, man, this blue guy made a Sanko. Yeah, that's the Sankos we were using. And then I got <laughs> some coffee-scented rage tails I bought when I was had no clue what, how to fish. 
and I have my I have my scale I've never used because every time I go fishing I forget it. So now it's like when I caught my bass, I was gonna weigh it and I was looking at my bag and I realized I forgot my scale, so I was pretty disappointed about that. So and then I got crappy crappy things. Yeah. There lots of crappies. Sometimes you even just put it on like a like a worm hook, thread it through there, and just crappies, up, crappie after crappie. And then I just got some backup mono line, so a le little leftover Power Pro. So this line right here, Power Pro, I, I've this is this is the third year in a row I've got this line. I will not go to any other braid line. This is top of the line, highly recommend it. Very good. I usually get either 20, 20 to thirty pound braid. Because when we go fishing, like, sometimes we don't have leaders. So we use this for northern and bass. So, yeah. And then I got very rusty pliers. Not sure why that's in there. I got safety scissors and my knife just in case. Then I got my multi-tool with pliers on it. Pretty rusty because I dropped it in the water once. Yeah. So, yeah, this is all my, pretty much most of my tackle for summertime fishing. Next, we'll go through my rod and reels. All right, guys, these are the three rods. These are not all my fishing poles and combos, or just whatever, yeah. These, uh, these are the only three that I'll probably be using this summer. So starting off first one, this is actually my first ever rod and reel that I use for bigger game fish, besides like bluegill and perch and crappie and all that stuff. So this, like if you come in here, look at it a little bit. Like I use this pole so much, Look how bent the the thing is, the bale. And the freaking thing moves. And it just sits there and like it wobbles. It's, it's not, not good. a very healthy reel. Like listen to it. Yeah, it's not that it's healthy. It's kind of junk. So I might, I think I might keep the rod though and just get a new reel, so I can have just have it handy in case I need it for some maybe pitch smallmouth or wacky rig or whatever. So this is my backup bait caster also my first bait caster so on it i have a sojourn six six pole then my black max five bearing ratio six to four to one so th this is my other one i was talking about my other daredevil so i'm actually thinking i think i'm gonna sell this rod maybe 50 pretty, probably between 45 and 65 dollars not really sure yet but i'll probably end up selling this thing and looking to get a newer one that's a little more i want i don't want to say like durable and better it's just i mean it's not like it's not good it's just for like what we do it just needed a little some more like something like this yeah we'll get in that one yeah all right so this one this one's a little different this one i actually got i actually picked this one up last year you hey guys we had a video on this one we had a, no we didn't well I, we showed it in the video but I, yeah i don't yeah, we just never did specs on it. So this, this rod is actually a Shields Outfitters. It's an Ibusu 2. Highly recommend it. It's so sensitive. Like, look at it. It's just, like, I barely even move in it. It's a medium fast. Six, or it's a 7-1 pull. Yes, it is. I prefer something a little shorter, but it's worth it. You'll get used to it. And then on the, the reel, I have a Abu Garcia Pro Max with a ratio of seven to one to one highly recommended one of my fav favorite rod and reel combo i've ever had it's caught a lot of big fish the f actually the first two fish i caught was the first two fish i caught on this reel was over both of the fish were over over five and a half pounds my first one was a smallmouth. was it was on actually this rod because this one doesn't break down so i had to put it on this one so i could take it up north and I caught a huge smallmouth. And then when first time fishing over summer, I don't, not the first time, but first time fishing with this rod, I, that's when I caught my big bass was on this with the frog. So yeah, this, even though this was a little more on the pricey side, I highly recommend it. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have. So I'll probably get a new, I'm looking for a new bait caster. And well, for this one, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know, I think I might keep the pole, not really sure about that yet. And then for this one, for sure keep the pole and get a new reel. But yeah, this is my rod and reel arsenal.